you're watching another episode of Dirty Laundry, and these ladies are the coat hangers. Will so, you introduce yourself as your... It's my coat hanger name? As your coat hanger name, yeah. It's Rusty Coat Hanger. Rusty. Yeah. That, yours was the one that I went, ooh. Oh. Yeah. It's really visual. <laughs> that one. It's really visual. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I'm Crooked Coat Hanger. Crooked coat hanger, very painful. I'm mini coat hanger, baby coat hanger. And I'm a bloody bent baby coat hanger. <laughs> <laughs> We like drove down for just for a flute. We were their practice amps, and we ended up seeing them. And they were like, "Hey, we're playing this house show. You guys have a show." And we're like, "No." So they're like, "Come play," and we played with the Spits and them. But we only played like three songs, and it was terrifying. Just, yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> just well, we just we still didn't really know how to play. Our and there was all these people. Like, we're just like, you couldn't even move. There were so yeah. many people. Ian, Ian gave her a guitar that was out of tune. His guitar of course he was out not in tune. And I'm like, is this in tune? He's like, yeah, it's cool. Oh, I was like, no. no. So I like, and then after the first song, I changed it to my other, but we were like standing like this in right. a house full of people. And the New York Times were there with a fucking camera. Oh, god. Because they were following the black lips. And it was just like a terrifying moment in our lives. And they helped us get shows yeah. in Atlanta for sure. Yeah. And like, uh, our first 7-inch was on there record label that they you know dice slaughterhouse that they're a part of so absolutely they helped us out but you know it's not we're all friends in atlanta like the music scene's real tight we all know each other we're all supportive of each other so uh, we only know what we experience and yes we experience a lot of like like people write interviews, I mean reviews on shows, but instead of writing about the show, they'd be like, one of them was wearing a dress, and one oh, of them yeah. was wearing shorts, shorts, and one of them was wearing, and they uh, were one of them had long hair, and one yeah. of them had short hair. And they were kind and of like, attractive, but not, not, not really, not really that attractive. <laughs> and you're like, uh, what? Joe. We never answered at first. We never wrote him back. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, we just thought it was mm -hmm. not real. We, we yeah, we were like, like what? Whatever. Were and you they, fans of Suicide Suites before? Yeah, mm -hmm. I have like a lot of their seven inches. Mm -hmm. Ellie Smith, Modest Mouse. So, you know, it was like when he was like, yeah, how about putting out records? So I was like, ah. <laughs> it was like this magical experience. It know? made that. It was like we're a real band. <laughs> No way. <laughs> so that's when we graduated. <laughs> oh, co-hanger abortions, abortions rule, levitating comma, that's so David Blaine. <laughs> that was a contender, believe Levitate. it or not. <laughs> um, I don't know, but we, we spent hours and hours and hours talking about this on a ride in a car one time, so there was seems like Bunch you were stuff. really set on the abortion theme. Yeah, you were just saying, yeah. just, just yeah. whatever. <laughs> so to be like, ah, abortion rules, that would be funny for a band name. <laughs> we would really stick it to a minute. <laughs> <laughs>